Hey, this is Darren. How dare I? Well, it was around 2007, I think, and I was at one of our events. It was after our event and our old way we used to do the workshops, we would have everybody gather around in a circle and we would get super serious uh, and super real. Uh, no fun, just real and raw. Hey, Denise. And we were sitting around and I was with, with one of my best friends and it was his turn to go. And he loved reading and he shook his head and he said, how dare I? And I was like, what? He said, how dare I read all these books on motivation and leadership and never ever read a book on how to be a better parent? And I was shocked and it was so real and so raw and such a great revelation. and. Well, I was new to being a Christian, uh, growing up Catholic, and I thought, whoa, how dare I say I'm a Christian and I've never ever read the Bible cover to cover? How dare I? You know, the way I grew up in the upbringing, which I'm super thankful for, but uh, it was almost like the priest's job was to read the Bible and then he tells you the important passages and uh, we didn't have like Bible study, even though I went to catechism and CCD, but it was, it was a game changer when my buddy said to himself, how dare he, how dare I? And I said to myself, how dare I? How dare I like proclaim and mention that I'm a Christian, but I've never ever read the Bible. Like, how dare I? Now, if you ever tried to read it or you read the King James version, like I get lost. And in fact, even in the regular updated down to earth Darren Down versions, I still kind of get lost. I read numbers or something and my head just kind of spins. But in my uh, in my, my church, I talked about yesterday, Verb Church, they have an app called uh, The Catalyst. So you can go to the, your app store and get the Verve Catalyst, just Verve, V-E-R-V-E, -E, which means live the life. And so I got the catalyst and what it did for me is it just gave me bite-sized pieces to read each day. So I'd only read five minutes a day and then it would actually break it down and explain it in uh, how it applies to me and what it means. And this made a game-changing difference. So not only a question, how dare I, but then also actually having something explained to me, helping make it simple or easy to understand. and with this little app and the passage that we would read each day, it was kind of crazy because in a year, if I just did five or 10 minutes a day, or more like five, uh, I would actually read the Bible in a year, the whole uh, New Testament and part of the Old Testament. So what it does is it had you read the New Testament during the week and the Old Testament during the weekends. And it, but it really made it easier to understand. And uh, I could do five minutes a day, why not? And so my buddy's question to himself inspired a question to me, how dare I? How dare I live this life but never have done this? So what in your life do you need to kind of have a little, <laughs> ironically, come to Jesus meeting with yourself and say, how dare I? As motivational, inspirational speakers, uh, people who train, people who want to inspire others, positive people, like what is it in your life that you need to say, how dare I? Or maybe that post that you put out that you think is wonderful, but do you live it? Do you actually live that post? Uh, so, how dare I? That question my buddy posed to himself ended up inspiring me to uh, actually do something I had never done. So I still been doing it just about every day for several years now. And it was, it was a game changer for me. Uh, hey, Kevin. Hey, Lori. So day, uh, day 20 out of 51. If you're new to this, hey, Lori. Thanks for saying hello. Jim Key is watching. Hey, Jim Key. Uh, if you're just checking this out, the Game Changer, hey Adora, uh, the Game Changer Challenge is to come up with, if you're a presenter, speaker, expert in some area, uh, to force ourselves to kind of create some new content and see what resonates with people, but at the same time kind of open up and be trans transparent about what are those things that made me? What are those things, hey bro, hey bro, 
Is that how you spell that? See, I'm learning. I'm, every time I'm on, I'm learning. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what are those things that are were game changers in our life? Was it people? Was it processes? Was it tools? Was it wording? Was it a story? Was it a transformational moment? What were the game changer moments in your life? And uh, help other people just by expressing it. Um, so I'd love to have you join me in the Game Changer Challenge, uh, forces you to learn. And I don't know what all my 51 are, but each day I come up with a couple new ideas. So I hope you join me in the challenge to help touch the world through uh, what happened to you and what you've overcome and what's kind of made it, been a game changer in your life. Uh, and hey, I'd love to have comments down below. Uh, I appreciate that and uh, I read all of them. I get the little notifications, so I'd love to think uh, or know what you thought of this game changer because it was a big game changer in my life uh, to actually sit down and struggle some days but read the Bible. But my little Verve app, my church app, actually helped me understand it. And I thought, why not? Just, you know, just five minutes a day. If I can't do that for God, <laughs> how dare I? Um, anyway, hope this helps you and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.